Annie Sports Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has claimed Sheikh Jazim is still keen to bar the club even if United fails to qualify for the Champions League. A chugged run of form now sees United in fourth position in the Premier League, just a point ahead of rivals Liverpool, albeit with a game in hand. Mm. Well, in basketball, Stephen Curry led with 27 points as the Golden State Warriors kept their hopes of reaching the Western Conference Finals alive with victory over the Los Angeles Lakers in San Francisco. The defending NBA champions won 121 to 106 to narrow their de deficit in the best of seven semifinals to 3 2. Gabellison has more. Latest World Sports Football. Romano, Sheikh Jassim still keen to buy United, even if they fail to qualify for UCL. Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has claimed Sheikh Jassim is still keen to buy the club, even if United fail to qualify for Champions League. A turgid run of form now sees United in fourth position in the Premier League, just a point ahead of rivals Liverpool, albeit with a game in hand. Yet Romano told his YouTube channel many Manchester United fans worried after the West Ham game have asked me what's going to happen with Sheikh Jassim and Ineos group if Manchester United do not qualify for the next Champions League. First of all, Man United remain convinced they will make it. They remain very confident of claiming a Champions League spot at the moment. But what is coming from Sheikh Jassim's group is that they are prepared to insist on buying Manchester United in any case. It doesn't depend on Champions League football next season. So they want Manchester United and they still feel confident. But for this sale process, it's up to the Glazers. But both Ineos and Qatari Bead remain interested. They are waiting on the Glazers' decision on the preferred bead. Romano added, This is a crucial moment. They have to decide as soon as possible to help the club for the summer transfer window. Tennis Madrid Open organizers apologize for not allowing women's doubles finalists to make speeches. Madrid Open organizers have apologized to players and fans for the unacceptable decision to not allow the women's doubles finalists to make presentation speeches. Victoria Azarenka and Beatriz Haddad beat American Jessica Pegula and Coco Goff 6-1-6-4 on Sunday. All finalists in the singles and the men's doubles address the crowd after their matches. Organizers say they have apologized directly to the four players involved. Tournament Chief Executive Gerard Sobanian said, We sincerely apologize to all the players and fans who expect more of the Mocho Madrid Open Tournament, not giving our women's doubles finalists the chance to address their fans at the end of the match was unacceptable and we have apologized directly to Victoria. Beatrice, Coco, and Jessica. We are working internally and with the WTA Women's Tennis Association to review our protocols and are committed to improving our process moving forward. We made a mistake and this will not ever happen again. Organizers had initially said they would not comment on the matter when contacted by BBC Sport earlier this week. Pegula said the decision was disappointing and questioned what century everyone was living in. While Belarus Azarenka said it was hard to explain to her young son Leo why she was not able to address him in a victory speech. The professional tennis players said the players had been denied the right to freedom of expression. The WTA, the governing body of the women's tour, has not commented. The incident brought more accusations of sexism at the clay court tournament after criticism over the ball girl's outfit and the difference in sizes of the birthday cakes presented to men's champions Carlos Alcaraz and women's champion Arena Sabalanka. Basketball NBA Playoffs The Golden State Warriors hold off elimination with win over Los Angeles Lakers. Stephen Corey led with 27 points as the Golden State Warriors kept their hopes of reaching the Western Conference Finals alive with victory over the Los Angeles Lakers in San Francisco. The defending NBA champions won 121-106 to narrow their deficit in the best of seven semifinals to 3-2. Andrew Green added 25 points for the Warriors, with Draymond Green making 20. The Lakers, seeded seventh, have another opportunity to progress to the conference finals on Friday in LA.
However, they could be without star center. Anthony Davis, after he was accidentally struck on the head by Golden State's Kevin Looney and immediately taken off court. LeBron James led the Lakers with 25 points and matched Davis with a team-high 9 rebounds against the Warriors, who were seeking a 20th successive playoff series win against Western competition. Elsewhere in the Eastern Conference semifinals, the New York Knicks also held off elimination with a 112-103 win over the Miami Heat at Madison Square Garden. Like Golden State, they trailed their series 3-2 as they beat to reach the first conference finals since 2000. Jalen Bronson led with a game-high 38 points while he and Quinton Grimes became the first Knicks players since 1972 to play all 48 minutes of a playoff game. The Knicks led by 19 points in the third quarter and while the Heat narrowed the gap to just too late in the fourth, Isaiah Hartenstein answered with a dunk and his New York side held on. You've got to give them credit. That's a hard team to play, Brunson told TNT. But we just came out to fight. Game 6 is in Miami on Friday. Gab Ellison reporting from Dante, ABC Amba News.